2FM set out to find an everyday hero. One story in particular stood out. To tell us more, please welcome Nikki and Jenny Green. When we set out to find an everyday hero, we were inundated with emails and letters from all around the country. One letter was a request from Gerard O'Connell from Selbridge in Kildare, asking for our help to express his gratitude to Owen Condon, a young man who was instrumental in saving his life. Hey guys, we're here at Salishian College in Selbridge to surprise a very special person. Yes, inside is a young man by the name of Owen Condon. He is our everyday hero, and he's the winner of the People of the Year Award. So we go in and have a look and see if we can find him. Let's go get him. We're looking for Owen Condon. So, yeah. Everyone likes to think that if they found themselves in a situation where they could save someone's life with CPR, they would. 17-year-old Owen Condon had the courage to do this not once but twice, cementing his status as an extraordinary everyday hero. It all started on a cold winter's morning in 2013. November 9th last year, I went to the petrol station, bending down to pick up the paper and apparently I dropped. My next recollection was I woke up and in the Matter Hospital with my daughter looking down and looking down at me and totally confused when I asked her where, she, where I was and she told me that I was out there having a massive heart attack. But it turned out that Jerry O'Connell was in luck that day. A young chap washing cars that Saturday morning jumped to my rescue. It transpired that uh, Owen uh, applied CPR continuously for seven minutes until the ambulance arrived. Owen Condon's brave intervention turned out to be a life-saving one for Jerry. My surgeon confirmed to me, but for the 17-year-old lad in the petrol station, I wouldn't be here either. So, I have no doubt, Owen, Owen Condon, excuse me, saved my life in those seven minutes. I was told that Owen had been involved in a resuscitation in the garage. I was absolutely shocked. And I suppose my initial reaction was, oh no, not poor Owen, not again. Four months earlier, Owen and some of his friends were swimming in the River Liffey when one of them got into difficulty. Owen used CPR to keep his friend alive until an ambulance arrived. But unfortunately, his friend didn't survive. Initially, you found it very difficult to understand how somebody so young, something so awful could happen to him on such a fun day out and to come to terms with it. He, he did struggle with it in the beginning. He was really, really sad. He, uh, he visited Abby's grave a lot and they all did, all the boys did. The kid had the courage a couple of months after that dramatic incident to help a stranger lying prostate in a petrol station. You've been nominated as an everyday hero at the People of the Year Awards 2014. How are you? <laughs> what Owen did on that day was deal with what he got. Owen, I'm really, really proud of you. Good man. I'm <laughs> Because of Owen's swift action, the O'Connell family had more than one reason to celebrate their daughter's wedding day. Her one daughter, she would have only had one chance for her father to walk her down the aisle. Owen Condon's name is all over that photograph. Owen Condon made that happen for his family. To do what he did for me so quickly after his own friend dying in his arms, it's outstanding. gentlemen, please welcome the winner of the Everyday Hero Award, Owen Condon.
congratulations, Owen. I have another mic here. Don't worry about it. He pulled his mic off as he got up. Live TV, folks. Isn't it great? Are you more mortified now than you were when Nikki and Jenny walked in? I oh, know. I'm a bit settled down now. It's all right. You're over it. There's a nice bit of red lipstick on your face, just to let you know. Thanks, Mammy. <laughs> Thanks, Mammy. <laughs> Do you remember what you did when that all happened? Um, I suppose, like, not really in the spur of the moment, it's just adrenaline rushing. Just, you don't really realise what you have to actually done. I, personally, I didn't realise for like a few weeks after I went to Jared's house and just so he met his family and it just what it actually meant to them. And yeah, no, it's just surreal and just words can't describe it really. And you want to dedicate this award yeah. to someone, don't you? Yeah, I just. Um, I'd just like to dedicate this award to the memory of my uh, friend Abby, who passed away during the summer of 2013. Just rest in peace. peace. Jenny, what this young man did, not once, but twice, is pretty amazing. It stood out to you. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, he, people don't know how they react when something happens. And I just think, you know, it was amazing what Owen did. And Nikki, this story has a personal, personal significance to you as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. My dad uh, passed away of a heart attack um, suddenly in 2009. And uh, I suppose for me, <clears throat> I never knew. We, we all you know, don't know, you know, was he, when he was on his own, did he struggle, anything like that. And for me to speak uh, to Jerry and, and you know, for him to, to, to kind of explain to me you know, that it was like switching off a light switch, that he, you know, he landed on the floor and he didn't remember anything else. And, uh, and I know the ambulance crew had come back to the garage to yeah. tell the guys that you know, if Owen hadn't have been there and you know, literally did what he did at the right time, you know, that Jerry wouldn't be here today. And like you've seen on the VT to walk his daughter down the aisle. So yeah, take a lot, a lot of determination, a lot of courage from this man at a young age, uh, which was special to be honest. Very, very special. Now, listen to me for a second. Before you go, Nikki and Jenny were chatting to somebody else that you might recognise and he wanted to get in touch. Hi, Owen. I'm sorry I can't be with you tonight, but I'm delighted you've been honoured tonight with an Everyday Hero Award. Rugby is a tough game, but it doesn't compare to the courage you showed in saving Jerry's life, and you deserve everybody's respect. Um, as I said, I'm sorry I can't be there, but I'm delighted you've been honoured, and I hope you have a fantastic night. From one brave man to another very brave man, Owen, congratulations, and Nikki and Jenny, thank you so much for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the winner of the Everyday Hero Award, Owen Condon. Well, I'm here.